Finally made it to Balduke, the prison city. Word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Even from out here, I can tell the city's huge. Look, Adel. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Hmm. We just got here, Adel. Can't you go five minutes without leaping into trouble? Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. If you want to get into Balduke, we'll need to inspect your things. Security looks tight here. Did something happen? Huh. Guess you could say that. Some hoodlums calling themselves Monstrums have been plaguing Balduke. Monstrums? A certain dignitary has uh, recently gone missing. There's no doubt they're behind this. Those damn pests. Blast it all. I've only just been transferred here, too. Well, not sure if I follow, but it seems like a pretty big deal. Warden Belker. What? Are you sure? All right. Detain him. Okay, now that doesn't look like a warm welcome to me. You, with the red hair, you're the adventurer, Adol Kristen, are you not? You've just received a warrant for your arrest from the capital. A warrant? For Adol? What for? And he says it with a straight face. You can't fool me. You returned from the cursed Isle of Sarin. You were involved with the Atlas Ocean incident. And most recently, you were seen in Altago in the aftermath of the ceasefire. You are being arrested on the grounds of your suspicious involvement in these events. Ah, oh, would you look at that. We're bona fide celebrities. It'll be easier on all of us if you come quietly with me to the prison. Warden Belger. Oh, Chatelard. You caught me at a bad time. I was just in the middle of an arrest. If it was this man here, allow me to take him in myself. Oh? But weren't you on patrol? Yes. However, we've just received word that Monstrums were sighted in the main square. Monstrums, you say? Those must be the guys he was talking about earlier. That's right. I was to report any monster activity directly to you. Should have just said so from the start. My apologies. Shall I take it from here? Of course. I know you'll keep a close eye on him. I leave him to you, Chatelard. Troops, fall in! The primary garrison will shift their priorities to capturing the monstrums. Today will be the day those pests will finally go where they belong. Baldu Prison! The one who captures them will receive a sizable bonus. Yes, sir! Now then, Mr. Adam Kristen. Um... I am Shadowlaw. Master and Commander of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hieroglyph Knights? So, you must be part of the Hieroglyph Church. Why are you working with the Roman Empire? 
We operate in tandem for the sake of maintaining the order here in Baldur. Warden Belger is the one in charge of the garrison here. As his title suggests, he is also the warden of Balduk Prison. He will be the one to decide your fate. You will cooperate, one way or another. Battle! He's so fast. You are Dogi the Wall Crusher, are you not? I give you 30 points. You fail. What are you on about? Unlike Adol, you aren't wanted yet by the Roman Empire. And now, I can see why. You should be grateful I'm not taking you in, too. You son of a... Adol! As for you, 85 points. Collected even under duress. Just as expected. So, you're finally awake, 217. Um... You don't remember? The Knights must have done a number on you. You're in a solitary cell, one of many in Balduk Prison. All inmates are assigned numbers. Yours is 217. You'd do well to remember it. <laughs> don't get too excited. You've just woken up in time for dinner. Come on, let's go. And no funny business, all right? Balduk Prison used to be a fortress. That's why it's got a complex layout. It's not just a soldier stationed here, but also the Roman army and the Hieroglyph Knights. You might as well give up any hope of escaping. Yeah. Good. As long as you understand. Listen. There are other inmates here, but speaking to each other is forbidden. Each of you have assigned seats. Yours is over there. Please! I, I beg you. Shut it and give me the food. I ain't about to go slave away in the mines on an empty stomach. Come on, help a guy out, will you? Th that gives me just as much reason to eat as you. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ah. Why, you slippery little... Watch it! Hey, what's going on here? Inmates 163 and 212. You two again? No, nah, I'm sorry. Relax, gentlemen. We were just having a little chat. Huh? 163, where's your fork? My what? Your fork. Where is it? God help you if I find out you're stealing cutlery. The hell are you talking about? It's here on the table. Um, well, well I, was, I swear it was just here. Where'd it go? Sure it was. All right, come on, 163. Time for a body search. No. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten anything yet. Ugh. You little shit. This was your doing, wasn't it? 
No. Dirty liar. Mark my words. I'll remember this. Take a left here. As I mentioned earlier, this prison used to be a fortress. Even the knights and us guards aren't familiar with some of the older underground sectors. Forget about being found if you get lost. May as well call it your tomb. Anyway, it hasn't even been a day, and you're already rocking the boat, 217. I'd recommend not making an enemy out of 163. <sighs> I heard you were going to be trouble, but still... Take it from me, nothing good will come out of being the hero. Just don't cause any more trouble, at least during my shift, all right? And especially not with her. Pardon me, ma'am. I've brought the inmate you requested. You're late. Preposterously late. What are you waiting for? Get in here! You will do as you are instructed. You're going to be asked some questions. I hope your answers are adequate for your sake. State your inmate ID. Um... So, you're the one I've been hearing so much about. <sighs> I didn't think you would be so flimsy looking. From one who calls himself an adventurer, I was expecting someone more robust. Yes. You will speak only when I permit you to. For the past seven years, you have been engaging in adventures. You seem to have a habit of getting involved in remarkable phenomena. These events have been withheld from the public, but delusions can only explain so much. Magic, the Eldeen, alchemy, primordials... Preposterous, indeed. If you ask me, I'd say the rumors about you are quite inflated. Now... You will answer my questions truthfully and without reluctance. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't think I need to explain what'll happen if you do. There's nothing more preposterous than squandered words and time. First question, inmate 217. It seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Even sailors and fishermen don't experience a fraction of the accidents you've been in. Some claim you instigated these incidents. What do you say to those accusations? <sighs> Fortunately for you, no clear motives have been discerned given the circumstances. However, I won't dismiss the possibility that you are conspiring with the crew members. You've even happened upon legendary weapons and artifacts. But somehow you always lose them afterward. Another fraudulent scheme, perhaps? Your antics are a detriment to the national interests of our Roman territories.
This is you. Come on, in you go. I'll check on you later. Hmm? It seems I have a neighbor. <laughs> Would be an excellent night for a stroll, if we could go for one. Could you come a little bit closer to the wall? <laughs> Wouldn't want the guards hearing us speaking to each other now, would we? That's much better. Listlessness nearly got the better of me after not having someone to talk with for so long. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I figured as much, seeing as you appear to be keeping yourself busy in there. Please excuse my curiosity. Anyway, my crime was, well, I suppose you could call it fraud. How about you? Well, <laughs> a veritable criminal is amongst us. Hmm, I believe I understand now. Are you here on false charges? In the past, the names and crimes of prisoners were publicly posted. But about five years ago, those postings were suddenly discontinued. Possibly because there's so many of us now. But something tells me there's more to it. Wait. Quiet. I must have lost track of time. It seems they're doing their rounds now. The guards patrol on a strict schedule. Don't do anything that'll get you caught during patrol hours. Mm, now then, mornings come early here. <laughs> Best that you get some rest. That's all I need to hear about the Canaan Islands. The ancient machine that controls the weather, the Ark of Napishtim. I find it difficult to believe that a thing out of a children's fairy tale actually exists. But your testimony doesn't conflict with any of the Navy's reports so far. Yeah. Though I find it difficult to believe, the reports do not lie. And I admit you have been cooperative these past few days. Is that what you hoped I would say? Lies are truth, there's no doubt your so-called adventures have major repercussions. And you're still suspected of being a spy in the Imperial territories. Are you mocking me? Anybody would have a hard time believing these stories. I don't even know why I'm the one who has to do this. Guard! Yes, ma'am. Hand inmate 217 over to the Empire to be tried for his other crimes. Take him and go. So they're sending you off? Just like that? I wouldn't be either. You did say you had a friend in the city. There's a rumor about this place. At the end of that corridor, there's a sector where even guards are forbidden. Supposedly, there's a hidden passage there, built when the prison was still a fortress. An emergency escape route, I imagine. I thought you'd say that. It's possible it leads out of the prison, but it's a labyrinth down there. There are also rumors of strange creatures prowling the tunnels. <laughs> you say that, but you don't seem concerned. We've only just met, but I already know you're not one to accept fate lying down. I'm sure you'd have gone anyway with or without my help. 
After all, you already possess something to pick the lock with, don't you? <laughs> I have my ways. was a pretty neat trick with a fork. That was not my intention, I assure you. But I appreciate what you did in the mess hall. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I'd only just slow you down. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. He's not here! Sweep the area near the canal again. He can't have gotten far. Can we be certain he's here? He couldn't have made it through the aqueduct. It's a direct order from Master Shadowlord himself. We're to take extra precautions with this one. So keep it to yourself and resume your search before I have you locked up too. Yes, sir! in the agricultural district and the main gates. They're in place, sir. Good. Not a single rat gets through. Understood? Yes, sir. Nothing, sir. We've already searched the entire area. What's this building? It's just an old inn. It was closed about a year ago. We searched it and didn't find anyone. All right. Move out and continue the search. Yes, sir!
treasure chest. Mind your surroundings, Crimson King. This place has become the cursed land. The Grimwald Knox. It is a realm where the line between the worlds of human and monster becomes obscured. For you, it is the front line of battle. Come forth, my monstrums, and consume this dark night! White Cat, reporting in. <sighs> Hawk, present. This had better not be another waste of time. Doll here. Good day. Raging Bull, I'm raring to go. Renegade, let's get on with it already. Monstrums, meet the Crimson King. Now there are six of you. We have a new recruit. I guess we needed the extra help. <laughs> My condolences, pal. <laughs> That's a funny name you've got there, Crimson King. Raging Bull is also peculiar. You all have gifts, each one unique. You use them to exercise monsters here. If you fail to do so, you will be trapped here forever. And if you should die in this realm, your souls will wander it for the rest of eternity. That is the curse which all of you monstrums must bear. You'll obey me here on, or you'll regret it. There she goes again, sounding just as unreasonable as ever. That demented bitch. One day I'm gonna kill her. I don't like it any more than you guys, but this is the only way we can get back to our own lives. The clock is ticking. Now then, shall we begin? Monstrums, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness.
Impressive. Manage to keep this up. Good. It seems the Grimwald Knox has lifted. You have much potential, Crimson King. Your power will be useful in banishing the darkness in the days to come. But. Why indeed? If you seek the truth about the curse, first unveil the mystery of Balduk Prison. We've returned to the city. Typical. Leave it to her to scurry off as soon as her dirty work's done. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna go home. I'll be leaving too. Oh! Um... Um... <laughs> you got that right, new kid. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. But you're out of luck. We don't have the answers you're looking for. We still don't know why we're even fighting. Nor what those monsters are. Nor why the Grimwald Knox comes. Yeah, and what's with those magic bullets? She used them to turn us into these things. Someone's desperate for friends. And we can't leave the city either. You can thank the curse for that. When she calls, we fight. We're nothing more than puppets. I'd rather be Monster Chow than be stuck another month in this dump. Yeah, I love this city, but there's only so much to do around here. Hey, look, they're on the roof! Mama, is that a monster? Shh, it's rude to point. Wait a second, are those all of the Monstrums? Yeah, but... Is the red one a monstrum too? Whoops, we've been made. <laughs> the new kid's outfit sticks out like a clown at a funeral. We should disperse before someone calls the Roman soldiers or the knights. Very well. I shall take my leave then. Okay, I'll go too. Bye guys! <laughs> I've been looking all over for you after I heard you escaped from the prison. Am I glad I found you before the soldiers did? <laughs> that right? I'm just glad you're okay. You can tell me what happened later. Huh? You look... Ah, never mind. Just imagining things, I guess. Anyway. Now that you're a fugitive, you really shouldn't be out here. Did you find him? No. We've looked everywhere, sir. <sighs> we can't let all six of them get away. Call for reinforcements. I want at least one of them in custody. Thanks to those monstrums, soldiers will be everywhere. We better find somewhere to lay low for now. That's a lot to take in. So that makes you one of those monstrums? A prison with monsters in the basement.
mystery woman with false limbs, and a curse that won't let you leave the city. Can't say I understand it all, except the part about being stuck here for a while. <laughs> Ain't much of an apology coming out of a wily smile like that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> you goofball. Anyway, before we can do anything else, we're gonna need a hideout. In the basement of this abandoned building ain't bad. A hidden entrance like that would make coming and leaving a lot more discreet. But we can fix it up enough to sleep here. Then we can talk about a plan. Yeah. Mm, you got it. Just leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> 